hey guys it's nyla Aliyah, and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so i'm aware i only have one video up from like last year but i'm trying to be consistent guys i'm trying to build the momentum so basically in this video this is going to be like a little quick life update for me we're going to be talking about my hair we're going to be talking about college we're going to be talking about just what i've been doing like it's literally probably been like a year exactly since i posted that video so let's start with the hair last time you guys saw me my entire head was ginger what a face beautiful face but things have changed so i decided to lock my hair in october of 2021 and that's when my hair was ginger you know it was like going out a little bit but i decided to lock my hair i did two strand twists i'll probably insert some pictures here there or in the next slide But um, I decided to lock my hair using the two strand twist method and that was a top tier decision. Anybody who's thinking about locking your hair, this is your sign. Lock your hair. And now you're probably like, Nyla, how are you going to tell me lock your, my hair, but your locks are gone? I'm going to get into that. So after being locked for about like eight months, basically I combed them out. This is what, this is what, this is what got me. I was like, let me just comb one out just to see, like, you know, how long my hair is. Girl, guy, whoever is watching this, I combed my hair out. I saw the length. I said, we're combing them out. We're combing them out. I want my curly hair back. I got hang time. So, yeah, combed all of them out, and I had to work the next day. Don't do that. Don't do that. That was dumb. I fell asleep on the couch, woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning to comb the rest of them out and then get ready for, I think, a 6 a.m. shift. Don't ever do that. So after doing that, I basically was like, okay, I think I get used to this. You know, I slicked my hair back into a bun. I was like, I still got it. Like, I made a little hair butter. For those who don't know, I have my own, like, body care business, Nyla Elite Essentials. We do not have hair butters. I was experimenting because I have really dry, first of all, I got dry skin. I got cerebral dermatitis. I believe that's what it's called. It's dandruff times 300. Um, let's see. I have dry skin on my face. Like it, it's ghetto out here. But I basically make products and stuff like that for people who have similar issues to me and who have really dry skin. So I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can concoct something for my hair because my hair be dry, my scalp be dry. Something has to give. So basically I did that and I was like, you know what? I still got it. You know, I love this. So I worked at a grocery store. So, you know, you see a bunch of different customers. You see a bunch of different people who live a bunch of different lives. Y'all, I saw this I saw this girl. Sis had the most beautiful locks ever. Like, she was just, she looked so beautiful. Like, locks flowing, her little basket in her hand shopping. Sis was just eating the girls up without even trying to. And it was at that moment I realized I want my locks back. Because you just feel different with locks. Like, don't get me wrong, this silk press that I have in my hair, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll link that down below. I, like, this... I look good. Don't don't get me wrong. I look good. But locks, the level, the type of confidence I had with locks versus the confidence I had with curly hair, I feel like is completely different, especially when you're going through that transition phase. I call it a transition phase. Some people call it the ugly phase. I don't like to call it that because it's, you're not ugly. You're going through a transition. You're changing your appearances and it's a transition it's not an ugly phase so please don't call it that that's the phase that helps you build your confidence so it definitely helped build mine i was out here locks frizz out here and still looking good so it's like it's just different like i really can't explain it like if you have locks i feel like you know what i'm trying to say 
but it's really just a different vibe and i miss that like yeah i could do styles like this like my hair is pretty long now like after combing out my locks but i miss being having locks like waking up doing my edges and leaving and leaving i have to get up take the bobby pins out of my hair after i do my little doobie and comb it out like that's too much that's too much and it's like i miss them so i'm putting them back in and i will be documenting that because i said i was going to document my last one didn't do it but besides the point you got a hair update <laughs> so now we're going to do a school update so basically in the last video i just had graduated and everything from high school class 21 so just i graduated from high school and i was going to lincoln university and after a semester there i realized it just wasn't for me i am not bashing lincoln university in any way shape form it just wasn't the hbcu for me so i am transferring so basically i applied to winston-salem state university and and i got accepted so i have a gofundme for that and the link will be in the bio because FASFA did not do what FASFA needed to do. Like, I'm an out-of-state student. They did not do what they needed to do. Like, if you're an out-of-state student, you know how the expenses can be. You know how expensive it is. A share, a donation, I don't care if it's 50 cents, maybe it is something. So if you could donate, that'll be really great. I'm really excited to, you know, go there. I've already started, like, talking to certain people. And it really seems like a great environment. The school is farther. I've always wanted to go to school farther, but because of COVID, I was like, mm, I don't want to get there. Then they sent me back. Don't want that. So, but now that things are starting to open up a little bit, I'm like, you know, I'm going to apply. And I got in. Amen. God did that because I was nervous. But um, basically, yeah, that's the school I'm going to be going to. I'm going to try to do some vlogs and stuff. Uh, my whole moving process, all the stuff that I wanted to do, all the videos that I wanted to make but didn't, I am doing that. My goal is to be consistent on this channel. I told people who follow me on TikTok, I told y'all I was gonna do it. I'm doing it. So that's like more so my school update. You'll know more, you know, once I get the money to be able to go there. And I hit my iPad, that low key hurt, but we're not gonna talk about it so next on the list is like a little business update so like i said before i own nyla Aaliyah essentials and we make body products good body products so when i first started this i was getting my body butters you know manufactured and everything but i wanted more creative control over my brand so i decided to physically hand make all the products that we sell so this is my personal little jar my personal little batch of body butter um like i said before i have really dry skin like you know how most people can like maybe like go to sleep after they get the shower and not put lotion on and they be fine i'm not her i, I can't do that i will wake up ashy and i'm not talking about like a little no i will wake up ashy like it's not okay like you could play tic tac toe on my legs because that's how ashy they get which is why i constantly have lotion on and if i don't have lotion on because i'm brushing you better believe i have on a long sleeve shirt you can't see my leg can't see nothing i need moisturizing products and that's what really got me started with this company because i was like bro i know i'm not the only one i be on tiktok and i be seeing the girls need help but i'm also that person i don't want to put it on me if i can't read the ingredients because what is that? Like, they be having these ingredients I can't even pronounce. Starting with Z's and, and X's. No, I, I can't read it. If I can't read it, I feel weird putting it on my skin. So, I've been in the lab making these products. So, I came up with three butter, three oil system for my body butters. So, if you get ones with fragrances in them, you know, the seventh ingredient, of course, is going to be the fragrance that I put in them. But if you get nude, nude, she has three butters and three oils, shea butter, cocoa and butter, mango butter, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and sunflower oil, top tier oils and butters that you can read. I'm going to say that one more time. You can read. 
because it's mad annoying when I can't read products. I'm also a vegan. Like, I be trying to be very conscious about the stuff that I put on my skin and that, like, I eat. Like, I, I don't play that. That's another update. I went vegan. Like, before, I think when I was talking to you guys, I was pescatarian. I was still eating seafood. But, like, back in January, and what, it's June right now? Yeah. So, like, it's been, like, about six months no like no it was always no meat but no seafood that is done that is that is done <laughs> if you want videos about the different type of stuff i eat let me know in the comments but yeah like i i try to be very conscious about the stuff that i eat and that i put on my skin and i also want to make sure the stuff i'm selling is that good stuff which is why i use all the products that i make so basically this is like not time to send what the top of your container is gonna look like because I'm a firm believer in putting all the product in there. Because you ever open a bag of chips and you get half the bag? That's annoying. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do what the chip companies do to my products. You're getting to the top, okay, baby? To the top. Because that's just what I believe in. So this is like a little quick consistency. See that? See that? Oh, let me do a little thing so my camera can focus. I'm ashy right now, as you can see. So I'm gonna put some on because, as you can see, I need some. Just gonna take it, you know, rub it in our little hands. It's gonna melt like nothing. And you know, we just put it on our arms. This is not for your face. People have been like, Nyla, you need to come out with facial products, baby, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. When you run a business and you're an entrepreneur and you're young like me, bro, we're the camera crew. We're the maintenance people when stuff spills. We are the content creators. Like, we do it all. We do it all. But see, don't I look a lot better? Like, I'm not all ashy anymore, guys. I look good. My skin is moisturized. It gives you, like, a slight glow like, after you finish using the products. If you're one of those people, like, you want to glow, like, you want to shine, you want the baby oil look. Also, I have body oils. So that gives you that extra, that extra glisten. But it's, it's giving is giving right now but yeah those are just some of the products that i sell i'm trying to come up with facial products and stuff like that hair care products but taking it one step at a time because i don't want to just produce stuff that i'm not confident and i'm confident in the butters that i sell i'm confident in the body oils that i sell i want to make sure that they work for me because i know i do have sensitive skin so nine times out of ten they work for other people so that's the energy i'm trying to give y'all so that's a quick business update yay so that's really it like as far as updates like y'all yeah, know the school situation y'all yeah, know the hair situation y'all yeah, know the business situation that's really what i've been up to just saving money for school making these body products i was working just doing it out here so whatever videos whatever content i want to see next please let me know I will nine times out of ten do it. Like, let me know. Follow my Instagram, TikTok accounts. Follow it all. And like I said, the GoFundMe in the bio, a nickel, a penny, a dollar, two hundred dollars, whatever your heart desires. So, all right. So people, they be having these cute little closing sayings. I don't have one yet. So, thank you. Bye.